the Solo Adventurer. I am Chilla, where every um, week, every episode, but it's getting back to being weekly, I take a look at either a solo adventure game or roleplay game or something like that, or as I have been the past couple of episodes, look at um, a handful of tools that are highlighted in a recent blog post on um, tools for um, digital gaming, board gaming, etc., etc. If you like what you see, you can find more about me at christianchiller.com. You can also subscribe wherever you're watching, say hi, leave a comment, etc., etc. What is our subject today? Today I'm going to look at another mapping tool, but this time Hexkit. Hexkit from a Cone of Negative Energy, which is a pretty cool name if you ask me. It's a multi-platform goal, 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 goal. Hexkit, I'll start that sentence again, is a multi-platform gold any award-winning desktop application. Any is a role-play gaming award ceremony. Winning desktop application for quickly and effortlessly creating hex maps or whatever tabletop adventure game you might be playing. It's supposed to be simple, as you can kind of see from the screenshot here. Pretty much always black and white, but there are color tiles available. And yes, lots of different tile sets are available. Um, I know that I have some here, but I think I have more somewhere as well. I can't entirely remember where I acquired these extra ones from, which we'll come to in a minute, but um, I think I have more as well. But anyway, let's open it up and I'll, I'll sort of shove that over to the side for now and we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, showing things if they need to be zoomed or not, but actually it looks like Hexkit is it's pretty, pretty readable. I have a feeling that there may even be, let's see, a way to boost that. No, that's just map sizes. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, this is fonts. No, we can't really, this is obviously not a fully native application. Hello to you as well in the chat. Do you have a very strange username? I can't entirely figure out how to pronounce it. <laughs> um, yes, and I do have Mac OS Zoom enabled if I need to zoom in on things. So how do we begin here? I think basically, now last week when I looked at Incarnate, I had some particular mapping requirements I wanted to accomplish. I'm not completely sure if Hexkit is gonna help me accomplish those because I had one for kind of a custom island map and one for an interior of an inn map. And I don't think I'm going to be able to really replicate any of those with Hexkit. Um, this is more for global terrain. So global terrain. Oh, we can zoom in. Look at that. I've just done that window. Um, so I think what I will try instead is I have a novel I've been working on, actually, uh, and I have a world I need to create for that again. It's not completely suited to hex kit. It's not really hex based or anything like that. But I think for the sake of arguments, I will use it as a demonstration purpose. So first I'm thinking this, this hex is a bit small for me. I wonder how we can make it larger. So here we go. We actually do have a tutorial. Maybe we will have a look through the tutorial. I'll just shove those over there. Just, ah, look at that. Oh, no, it's Zoom. Oh, no, that is size. Ah, and, ah, there we go. I inadvertently discovered how to solve my own problems. But let's have a look at the tutorial then. Basics. Toolbox is on the left, the canvas is on the right. I've moved these, obviously, on my screen. Primary way of making hex maps in HexKit is by using the various tools in the toolbox to paint. Do we get a tool tip? Yes. Left, it's probably quite hard to see that text. Left click to paint tiles, right click to rotate, et cetera, et cetera. I'm guessing this is an eraser of some description. Yes, this is clear a tile. And this is labels, descriptions, etc. Is This some sort of rotate, yes. Flip, I guess, yeah. 
Uh, zoom in. Select a tile from the map. Okay, all makes sense so far. Good. Um, okay, well, I jumped ahead here. We actually have two buttons up here instead. The paint mode, which is what we just looked at, and the fog of war. So this, I suppose, is more for when you're using the map. Um, yeah, deleting fog of war. Not particularly necessary for, there's actually specific tiles for fog of war, which is kind of interesting as well. Paintbrush, I think we covered most of these already. I don't think any of them were particularly unclear. So we'll just uh, scroll through those. This looks as next. Take a look at the paint mode tools. Ah, let's turn on my uh, the paint mode tools. Yeah. Next, the display paint mode tools. Oh, okay, yes, so it's the same. It's weird, I don't, oh, there's display mode. Okay, so edit mode and display mode. Okay, that makes sense. So you can't make any changes and things like that, basically. Working with layers, um, I think relatively familiar with what layers do. I, I sort of wonder, oh, okay, so some of them actually have transparent, Backgrounds. I don't know how we can tell if they do. I guess that will become apparent later. Okay, painting tiles. The box on the toolbar, the bo or this box, this box on the toolbar, yes. Um, it looks like these are just the classic ones. We'll figure out how to add more in a minute. So which tiles that you're working with? Well, the two icons with squares, these let you, oh, that's actually, it's kind of better for me, but probably harder for you to see. So. And we have different categories. So let's begin. So um, let's add some land. But I will zoom in initially and then just carry on from there. So we have um, cliffs, coasts, cone forests, dunes, forests, grass, hills, icons, jungle, mountains, ocean, palms, rivers, swamps, and utilities. Another intriguingly titled utilities. Um, what do we want first? I guess we should add a coast first. If you double click into it, you get more options. Um, I'm guessing this darker gray is the water and that's the land. Not, uh, and if I look at this picture here, then I assume that's the case. So ideally, I actually kind of want this, but oriented the other way, but okay, that's fine. Nothing happens if I click that, fair enough. <clears throat> that's odd. Ah, so this must be the transparency, I guess. So I'd now like to rotate that. I think I saw, I, I don't know why it keeps zooming. I'm not sure. It must be my, well, scroll wheel. That is very... <laughs> Italy. I'm going to have to be careful there. Whoa, hello. I have to be careful there. I don't think I can turn it off either. Um, I want to flip it. It's kind of hard to tell if I have one up there uh, until we add more things, I guess. But um, let's add some more. Kind of want something at an angle now. So I guess this one, it does seem to be smart enough to connect it. It's sort of gone a bit too far. The other way. Now, is there a sh keyboard shortcut for the rotate? Yes, it is R, but it doesn't seem to work. Not oh, lowercase R, fair enough. Um, hmm. Isn't quite what I wanted, but it, it'll do for now. And we will bring that down here. And how about this one? That doesn't quite make sense. Yep. Um, how about this? I'm trying. That's not that's sort of making sense. Um, and here. Yep. And um, 
Hmm, one more. How about this one? And oh, that'll do for now. Now, um, of course, it's very hard for me to tell what is what because it's all black and white. I guess if this is coastline, I can add ocean underneath. I guess that's how that works. So let's. Well, I've got the feeling I've done this in the wrong order. Can I? I guess. Doesn't look like I can move it once I'm done, unfortunately. I'm not sure what this icon means. Just that. Okay. So we could. Oops. Okay. Wow. Well, let's see what happens. I'm assuming, though, now if I put ocean there, it's going to. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I have to. I did that the wrong order, unfortunately. It doesn't look like I can reorganize the layers after I'm done, which is a bit of a pain, but I should have planned ahead, I suppose. Let's see. Uh, layers. Really? Saying anything there? Working with layers. It does, unfortunately, look like you can't move layers. I'm not quite sure what the point of this is. If it Yeah, I can, I just you can't move this one. So that's a pain. I am going to have to do that again. Okay, that's fine. I think that one is on the so now it's there twice. Now we'll finally go back and add our coastline. Let's see. Yes, that's making a bit more sense now. What's the keyboard shortcut for the paint tool? P, maybe? Uh, P, yes. Good. That makes a logical sort of sense, at least. It's where things get a little confusing because you have to get the um, orientations correct the whole time. This is not quite the coastline I wanted. Maybe we'll undo that. I'd like a little less coastline, to be honest with you. It's going a bit too far that way. Um, maybe... In this one looks, I think, good. There we go. That's better. And I can't quite see that. Oh, they're slightly different. <laughs> eh, it's going a bit too far the other way again. Oh no, now we're on the wrong. Oh dear. My coast was much better last time. Um, let's get it back on track. Let's, I can have a chance to use the erase tool. There we go. And maybe we'll bring it in here instead. No, I like my last coastline so much. It's so much harder where you can actually see the water. <laughs> I mean, we could just leave it like that. It's not great, but for the sake of, of, of time, maybe. Um, but that's another way. There we go. Actually, that is better. Just put it on level with the hex itself, I suppose. Yeah. It's, it's kind of tricky to get it quite right. This is the problem with a hex sometimes. It limits you a little. Um, that'll do. I wonder if we can fill in this gap here with something a bit nicer. Maybe this one. I'm going to take away more land than I was hoping for. That'll do. Okay, great. That's our land. Let's add another layer then for some greenery, forests, plants, etc., etc. Gives us an opportunity to take a look. I think I can 
probably. I don't think I need to keep this open anymore. So what else? Um, forest. Why not? So we have kind of different densities of forest, basically. We'll add some. I think, yeah, it's not like a incarnate where it gets denser. That is basically, yeah, that's basically it. And we'll add uh, some less dense forest over here, maybe some down here, and maybe a little bit of a sort of strip up the middle. Um, a river, sure. Every good con uh, country, yeah, should have a river coming from sort of be coming from here. We should probably add a layer for this. So hopefully, we can. Uh, oh, okay, it's not. Okay, this is going to be tricky to orient. I think. <laughs> um. Kind of wanted it coming halfway, but I don't think that's going to be possible. It's kind of hard to get it to, kind of want it to match to the water, really. It's, oh, I see. It's a sub. Uh -huh, it's a sub uh, category. You can actually go many levels deep by the looks of it. So now I can actually see what... Um, I want this one actually. Uh, oh, that looks good. And we'll branch that off. Okay, it's a weird river, but sure. Well, not that weird, but it's not as straight as maybe I would have liked. It's slightly hard to get these things to match, but I think it's mostly for illustrative purposes, really. Okay, let's add some town. Mm, icons. I guess that's towns. Uh, ooh, sure, why not? I mean, it has to be on the... I don't know why it keeps zooming like that. I'm not sure what keeps zooming. Let's add it. Now, that's the problem. That's not transparent. So <laughs> um, you can't... Everything has to sort of be in one hex, basically, unless it has transparency, i.e. assume there's a way to edit them. Well, there's definitely a way to create them. We'll come to that later. Um, and let's add maybe like there's a castle up here. So yeah, it's very sort of straightforward mapping. And out of interest, if we switch into the view mode, then we effectively get exactly know how that's particularly useful. Mm. I've never been a particularly big fog of war person with gaming anyway though, so. And what else? Some of the other tools we had here. Zoom, I think we're good with. Reflect. Ah. Yeah, I did expect. What was this one again? This was the select tile. Not 100% sure what I'm selecting it for, but okay. All right. Um, I mean, it's pretty basic, pretty rudimentary, but you see the idea there. Um, what else can we do? We've looked at most of these things here. Generate, generate custom. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Let's import tiles. Let's import those um, tiles I have here. <clears throat> Let's go for the for this fantasy one first. Do I need to import the top level folder or what? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, quite sure what I'm looking at here. This is just, oh, this is me. Oops. Okay. Uh, save. Not sure what I'm changing. Oh, there we go. I'm not quite sure what that screen was, but now we have some color ones. So I'm guessing we could, in theory, go here, for example, and upgrade our ocean. It looks relatively similar, but well, that looks so much better, doesn't it? <laughs> 
That looks so much better. Um, and likewise for say the, let's upgrade our, it's still black and white, but they're kind of fancier. Ah, to keep my mind brain. There we go. See, that looks actually much better. Okay, put that one there. This one over here. Can we make that river look a little better? Um, river. So it's effectively, there's a lot more options here. I think it was, I can't quite tell which one it was now. Maybe the river, we'll, we'll, we'll make another river. Let's uh, make another simpler river down here coming from who knows where, the land next door. And yeah, we could also, I guess, I'm not sure, let's see. Yeah, we can actually change the overall under current here as well. Um, swamp is purple, it's a bit odd, but okay. All right, let's have a look at the other one I had there as well. The import tiles, traveling through dangerous scenery. Intriguing. Again, I've got this. I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is, but they sort of they're quite whimsical. The, the color ones. They look pretty similar, but um, ah, this is kind of more of an interesting sort of city, though. Switch to our towns layer. Uh, I think that, that says filler, mains, outskirts. So we can actually make quite a big town here, I think. And that's still, oh, that's also a subcategory. So this is actually adding quite a lot more here. We could maybe add, um, yeah, it's my scroll wheel that keeps doing that. We could add, um, and that looks a bit odd. But we could put main. Oh, it's roads, I think. Yeah, you get the idea, though. You can add to start to add a lot more here. Walls, cliffs. We could maybe make our our um, land and the ocean a bit more interesting, potentially. Yeah, see, that's already a bit of color. It really makes things look quite different, doesn't it? Uh, that looks a bit wonky, but it works. Um, bizarre fields, I can't resist. And what about strange flowers? <laughs> Love it. Yeah, the, the, it's quite whimsical. It's nice for the illustra illustration, I think, but um, you can't get into massive masses of detail. But uh, yeah, generate. Let's try that instead. No. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> so this is interesting. This is the generator option. Uh, island. Oh, it just generates a map for you. Right. I see. Interesting. I guess it's based on the set you have at the time. Aha. I'm not sure what a messer is. So it doesn't look entirely accurate, but I suppose now you could work with it and and move things around and, and etc. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what that does. Port tiles, remove tiles, export. How can we export? Print. Let's see, player facing, it's going to be a PNG. Yeah, PDF would possibly be good, but that's fine. Um, oh, we didn't actually add any text that occurred to me. Uh, this button, I think. Desert of Death. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ooh, hello. That's Overwhelming, but <laughs> kind of useful. Um, 
What does that mean? What is the data? Let's see if we can find anything here. Background will change the background color of the canvas from white to black. Show all labels or hide or show all tiles on the map. They could show blah, blah, blah. Hover tile info will show whatever is in the data box. Ah, when you hover. They could add like a description or something like that. I suppose. But still not really doing anything. Not quite sure why. Okay. Um, yeah. Tools, I think we already saw. Plugins. I'm not sure what plugins are. I haven't seen any mention of plugins anywhere so far. We should see what they are. That could be useful. Uh, this is, I think, general. Oops. It's the whole rest of the website. Um, let's see. Plugins. Uh, hmm. That is just Mac OS finding the text there. So I'm not entirely sure. We could have a look. Hex kit plugins. Oh, here we go. There's something there. So there we go. It's a React application, of course. <laughs> so you can make plugins. I would be interested to know what that might be. Are there any plugins is kind of what I'm interested to know. Um, we can go to Reddit. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what plugins are available. But anyway, we can also have a look at tile sets. I can't remember where I got these from, but I think there's plenty more of those. So yeah, here we go. And official tile sets. Fancy land to fancy land. Traveling. Okay, I got those from there. <laughs> the black spot. Ah. Are they? Where do you get them from? Ah, purchased versions. Okay. All right. I wonder if anyone else has made any um, so there's a lot here. Um, looks like there's lots on itch, basically. And yeah, I think. Pixel hex, is that for? I don't think this is for hex kit though, is it? Uh, no, it's for something else. Um, So there's a few. I'm finding it slightly hard to tell which ones are for what though, but there are a few available, but not a massive amount. I wonder how you create your own. Um, it'd be interesting to know. I actually, I think we can probably see from, yeah, it's just lots of PNGs basically. So yeah. So we could create our own if we wanted to and then distribute those. So I think that's HexKit. I mean, it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, so there's not a massive amount to go into. <laughs> um, let's just do an export. It's always nice to do an export. I think I did. I, I actually did now. Player facing. Yes, I did. <laughs> let's have a look at it. Uh, Finder. Downloads. Is it that one? No, this one. Yeah, it's kind of what we'd expect. It's actually smaller. I must have been zoomed in. Yeah. Yeah, it's HexKit. Um, it doesn't give you massive amounts, but you can create maps quite quickly, as you can see. It is pretty cheap from memory. I actually got it in a bundle. Um, you can... No... I'm just randomly odd because it tells you to go to the store, but there's actually no, oh, there we go. It costs $15, uh, one off. And it has, it does get updated reasonably regularly, I think. 
Um, that I cannot see, but it gets updated reasonably regularly. So yeah, that was HexKit. Um, simple, quick, easy way to make maps. If you're looking for this kind of rigid-esque um, hex style of map making anyway. And um, yeah, I have been intending to mess around with it for a while. I don't have a game use for it right now, but um, I will have another experiment with it at a later date. So that was me, Chris Giller. It's got quite dark in the intervening period, as you can see. Um, you can find more about me at chrisgiller.com. And you can find all the other solo adventure videos there or on YouTube or Twitch or wherever else you are watching. And I will be back next Friday uh, with another live stream and then with an edited version of that live stream at some point. Until then, thank you very much for joining me. Take care, everybody.